Hey, 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 I'm a little pony today and I'm coming to you from a nice and rainy, 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 rainy Florida. And I want to talk to you about surviving the holidays with family. Surviving the holiday with family, with ease and grace and joy. And maybe it's because I'm a little boundary obsessed, but we really do need a proactive holiday boundary success plan. We really, really do. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. And don't worry, you don't have to take notes. I'm going to give you a little tip sheet that you can download at the end. So pay attention and let me know what of this stuff applies to you and where you are in the mix, okay? Because... Uh, we have this fantasy around spending time with family, being happy and beautiful, and every family is different. And for some people, spending a lot of time with families can be really dysfunctional and very dis very distressing, actually, because we either under or over promise on the expectations around tradition. So I want to start with a couple of tips where you can draw boundaries, create boundaries, change the way that you're doing things. and actually really enjoy the holiday season whatever it is that you celebrate so the first thing is about prep time you have to prepare if you want to have a tranquil relaxing holiday season one that's filled with gratitude rather than stress so how do you do that well create a gift list create a budget in my family we don't exchange gifts we only give to children um, we prefer to give quality time and experiences um, rather than give to everybody. But some people, we exchange gifts and it's a big deal. And for some people, it's very difficult financially to do this. So make it easy for yourself by having a budget and doing it early too. You know, if you can do it throughout the year, um, it's good to, you know, organize yourself and, and buy gifts during the year. A lot of people do it that way. Also decide which gatherings you want to go to. Um, not necessarily the ones that you always go to, but think about what is it that you want to do and make those decisions. And then if it's, if it's um, bring a plate or you have to bring a gift or um, you're asked to, give, to bring a, a plate of food, do things that you can do in, in ahead of time and freeze, you know, and don't overcommit. Uh, if someone asks you to bring a dessert, don't bring five, bring one. Think simplistic and minimalistic, right? Make it easy for yourself and prepare ahead of time. So that's important. Another thing that I like to do is keep your mindset in a really healthy way. And this is a very internal boundary, which is just about shifting your attitude, the one degree shifts that I talk about all the time and go into the season of the holidays with an attitude of gratitude. It's very easy to focus and judge um, other people or annoying when we do things we don't want to do or we feel like um, we're obligated to do stuff so just take a second and put your hand on the heart and just think about all the things that are right that are going well in your life right now and all the things that you have to be grateful for and go into the season rather than anticipating um, or dreading Things. like maybe it's your mother that always criticizes your cooking or makes some kind of backhanded comment about your weight or that you drink too much or something go in with this open mind that you're gonna go in and be undefendable unfuck withable actually um, and that you're not gonna get into some triggered place where you're gonna go into some dysfunctional dance with somebody just rise above it all because it's so tempting to, t to go down the rabbit hole with other people if they're being mean or cranky or they're doing something that you don't like doing. Just remember, it's your egos wanting to be right. You know, if it's your mother-in-law, she's been like that her whole life. Or maybe it's a cousin or it's somebody's kids that are driving you crazy. Just go in with an attitude of gratitude and go in with this, this, this mindset that nobody can touch you right that you can survive the holidays and you do that by keeping your anchors really strong by doing moments of stillness and silence meditating in the morning and listening to beautiful music going for a walk and putting yourself in a right frame of mind 
so that you don't get challenged by certain situations, whether you're sitting in traffic or you're in a mall with millions of people all fighting to get things done and that craziness of the silly season. You are the only one that gets to choose your frame of mind. So if you're going to go into the negative and you're going to criticize and you're going to complain, push pause, take a deep breath, keep calm, smell the roses. I love four by four breathing or alternative nostril breathing. Use aromatherapy oils like uh, lavender or geranium, something calming. I love frankincense. Frankincense is such a high vibrational frequency. Put some of that over your body and just do some four by four breathing. And it's really, really easy. Breathe in slow for the count of four. Hold for the count of four. And exhale for the count of four. And just keep asking, what if this could be easy and effortless? What would love do is another great question that I love to ask when I'm feeling myself getting tense and triggered by various situations or people or places. And it's an immediate stress release when you start to combine some of these things. You know, unless somebody has a gun to your head, there's no reason for you to lose your mind because you're being held up in traffic or um, someone in the front of the line in the in the grocery store is counting out, pay, out their saints and, and rants. You know, just know that you have no control over other people and their point of mind. The only thing that you get to control is how you respond. So just know that if you're talking to your mother-in-law and, and you know that she's, you're never going to make her happy, that's her stuff. And what other people think of you or what other people are pushing at you is none of your freaking business, right? So what do you say yes to? What would love do? Can you say love, say yes to love? Because that is what you get to choose. And what you're committed to is the only thing that is important right now. So don't commit to things you don't want to do and don't make everybody else wrong for asking you to do things. You know, this is where you need to tighten up on your boundaries and say, thank you, not now. Um, let me think about it or I'll come back to you and do things differently this year because you could still host your Christmas Eve party, but this time if you're the one that normally prepares all the food for everybody and cleans everything up, Hire in caterers or ask everybody else to bring a dish when they come. You're the only one that gets to change this. And most of the time, it's about connection. So enjoy people's company rather than putting that kind of unnecessary pressure on you. And if there are people that you don't want to be with, then just don't do it. Start a new holiday tradition and say, you know what, I'm really no longer able or willing to host this thing on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. And let's think of something else. Let's think of a different way to do it that is all ease, joy, and glory because you are the only one that's responsible for what you do and what you're committed to. So remember, what you, uh, what you are putting your energy to is going to amplify. And just know, you know, no is a great word. It, you don't need to say yes to everything. If you really don't want to exchange things with adult siblings, again, this is where you can bring in another new tradition. Create something different that's more meaningful for you. Um, and that could be refreshing for other people because if you're thinking it, then other people in your family may be thinking the same thing. And I've had moments where like this where, you know, um, I remember when I have three sisters and when they started... To, to go off and, and have children. It didn't really make any sense for us to be exchanging gifts. So we made a, an agreement that we would no longer give gifts to the adults and we would just choose one person's name or we would just give to the children. Um, because let's face it, you know, the stress of money is, can also be, be a, a Danny Downer for Christmas. And, and I don't know. My family isn't that focused on that aspect of it. It was more about spending time with family and cooking a meal together and spending quality time. So look at your love languages. Look at your family's love languages as well and start to see if it's acts of kindness, give acts of, do something kind. Um, if it's about quality time, do something around quality time. You know, do plan an experience that you can actually enjoy together and and don't make it about stuff and that's just for me and my family but that tradition is is a really important exchange where everybody knows the deal and everybody knows the delivery and there is no unrealistic expectations to do things that are out of congruence with us you know don't go into debt don't don't let 
that spending or buying things create disharmony during the holidays that make you resentful and angry because you know you've gone into debt and you're starting a new year with debt. So you've got to remember, no, no means no. And what if you can ask questions that are generative and not go into the people pleaser thing that maybe you don't want to do anymore. And you know what? Uh, another thing is also know when you've had enough. You know, know when enough is enough. There's nothing worse than, than having um, the dread of, oh my God, you know, I know this when this sister is going to drink too much and we know there's going to be a problem. Um, know when to say no, right? Ask people, do I drink too much at holiday gatherings? And, and ask for an honest answer and stay in the observer state because there's nothing worse than being the drunk at a party. Um, there's nothing more boring than a drunk, actually, um, or somebody that never, never contributes or never participates in the family stuff and they sit with a miserable face and, and everybody feels the tension of it and gets upset, you know? So um, know when to leave and know when to say no and know when to say, yes, thank you, we're going now, you know? So uh, just know that you want to spend your time around people that lift you up. And remember, alcohol is a depressant. So if you drink more than you would during the holidays because you've got work things going on and then a friend's party and there's all this craziness, you're pouring depression, depressants into your body and sugar and all the food that you eat as well. So just remi remind yourself to tune in with your body and ask your body, are we done here? Or what is it that your body wants? And really honor that, you know? And maybe it's not the drinking, um, but maybe it's just a, 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 another anchor that you say, no sugar during the holidays right now because sugars make you high and then you go crashing down and you feel like absolute crap. So, you know, not to mention the fact that we don't want to get depressed after the holidays because you've gained you know, 15 or 20 kilograms because you're going to be drinking and overindulging and feeling bad about yourself, you know? And another thing is be mindful. Be mindful of what you're putting in your body, where you're putting your energy, what people you're inviting into your space. Be very, very discerning about everything that's going on around you and in your environment. And remember, proper sleep hygiene too. You know, and maybe another tip is too, and I think this is more of a feel-good tip, is what about paying it forward? This is something that we love to do on holidays and birthdays and Christmas time, is we choose to ask for money for my daughter or dog food or um, cat food or something like that, and then she gets to choose the charity that we're going to give the, the food to, and, and it's such a feel-good place. Another thing that we do is we, we volunteer to go and uh, take food to people at soup kitchens or serve at a soup kitchen over Christmas. Um, or, or there's another pl the place that collects old toys and things. So the rule with my daughter is everything for everything in new that she gets, two things get given away to a shelter or to an orphanage or something. And again, she gets involved and she gets to do it. And it's a beautiful way to just expand into gratitude of knowing we have abundance and, and so much love around the holiday times. Um, you know, if you're feeling sad, a lot of people feel depressed and sad and alone at Christmas. This is a beautiful way is to make it bigger than you, is find a volunteering opportunity in your area or within your community and then go, go do something selfless. Go do something that fills you up and adds value to somebody else's life because there is nothing that makes you look at your life with more appreciation and grace than giving and helping other people and animals that are less fortunate than, than we are. So, you know, just know that we're responsible for each other and what most people want more than anything is connection. So I hope you found these little easy tips useful. If you have any other great tips that you would like to share with this tribe, uh, within this community, please post them down below. And let's all receive from what you know. And um, as always, just know I love you. And remember, the world isn't waiting for someone like you. The world is waiting for you and what only you have to give to the world. So remember that you showing up in your alignment, in your own high vibrational resonance frequency is the greatest gift that you can give to others. So have a beautiful rest of the day wherever you are. Enjoy the holidays and know that the power of choice is yours and yours 
alone. And I will speak to you again soon. So much love and gratitude and appreciation from me. Um, have a good rest of your day. Bye. Mwah.